Yeah, you like that? When do we get this? I stole it from Brandon. You want me to you're exactly saying, reply to what I'm going to say? No, you're just going to say, like, no, that's a new untold story. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Hey, is that story overtold? Fuck no, baby! That's a new untold story. A new untold story. It's a fresh fake untold story. Uh, welcome back, a new untold story episode 457. 384. You're spilling no. your giant four loco everywhere. <laughs> you were trying to hide the red, white, and blue four loco. Oh. You were getting mad that we were calling you out for drinking a four loco. Look like at the, all that. It's the shape of the Caspian Sea. <laughs> That's yeah. pretty nondescript. Yeah. You spilled it all over my gas X, dude. I'm sorry. Damn. You're drinking um, four loco? No, I just opened it. <laughs> <laughs> it's more of an arrow. That's the most thing. alcoholic. Like that, it would be more believable if you were holding it for a friend. No, I just opened <laughs> yeah, it. I just opened it. Everybody has called you out for it. I know. I was hoping no one called me out or even mentioned it. I was trying to just no, slip just, that. Just in. Do it proudly. Put it up here. Can we put it up? Why? Yeah. Why not? Yeah. Put it up. Right Enjoy next, it. Right Enjoy it. The, the smell is there. potent. Oh, it was like it's like seeing a relic from a different time. Yeah. Like I saw that, I was like, "It's like a dinosaur." <laughs> it's beautiful, kind of. That's how my like grandpa looks at interracial couples. Is how I look at a guy <laughs> drinking a four loco now. What? You can do that now. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck, dude? I've been getting since when? <laughs> In public, dude, we, we were drinking talking. with a, a headache is kind of a vibe. Like a headache is a good mixer. Like it makes you feel, <laughs> it makes you feel high too. You're chasing your your four loco with headache. With the, oh, I'm mixing with the headache. Oh, okay, yeah. makes for a good good drink. Like a good feeling. Yeah. Why don't you just take a Tylenol? I have been. Oh, okay, we'll talk about my headaches later. Like off air. Later in the episode, okay. We get some dead time. <laughs> okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah. What, you don't want to lead with it. You don't want to lead with your headache material. No, lead no. with your best. Uh, do you have what? What episode is this? Three eighty four. No. It isn't. 385. Okay. Well, we've been on like a uh, area code drought, so nothing yet. Oh, we're with Joey. Avery. Joe. Yeah. What's up, man? Hey, great to Yeah, good here. to see you. Sorry, we got yeah, yeah, great yeah. to be on 385. Uh, yeah, yeah, man. This is a really <laughs> special one for us. Is it an area code? It's not. No. Is it anything? It might be an overlay, but nah. Nothing? Nothing. Nothing? Yeah. So Joey was just on the yak. He was funny on the yak, so we invited him. Invited him on to the big leagues. So that's good. I was I was about to leave, but I went to the golf simulator to smash a few balls. Why not? Luke's just like, hey, you want to do another one? I was like, yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> did you get any cuts in? I is did. It, I got it, some is hacks. It, is it a cut in. when it's it's hacks? Is it cuts baseball? I yeah, think both baseball. are probably baseball more than golf. Wax golf is more like yes, yeah, swing. Wax sounds a little you know. What's the slang for swing? Uh, hacks. It sounds I think good. you could say uh, hack. hack. Let's watch Mook. Uh, nothing. 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 The golfers at home right now are just fuming. I don't think golfers listen to this fucking show. Mm -mm. Oh, yeah, we got golfers, dude. Golfers are everywhere. Yeah. We were just talking about Four Locos because you had the giant glaring one. I said it looked like Toby Keith's urn. Um, <laughs> but you were saying, like, we were drinking. We were all in the heyday of them. Yeah. In college. And so I I never actually drank one, but I was uh, I will always say that I did. Okay, yeah. I did twice, and it I I didn't drink in high school, and the most I'd ever drank is like one natural light. Yeah, and then I was like, no, I need something stronger. Yeah, it, it, I got this like, is the perfect amount. <laughs> yeah, I, I was pretty pretty seasoned at getting fucked up by college. I, okay. I, I put in a pretty good shift in high school, mm -hmm. uh, but still, I remember having four locos, and it wasn't even that I felt like I was getting faded i literally felt like my i could feel my heart hurt yeah like it, i felt like i was actually it felt like i was like on the back half of a marathon you never want like your innards to feel like sharp pains like i felt like my heart had a bruise yeah anytime you're feeling the inside mm -hmm. of your body and we'll get to the headaches later yeah but yeah headaches later headaches later yet. we've had two very natural segues into the headaches but we'll push them <laughs> we'll push the headache shit <laughs> uh, tell me about the headaches kyle not yet. I've just been, yeah, I've been getting them. Yeah. Cool. 
Cool, cool. I'm glad you sat on that. <laughs> is it based on drinking four locos at 2 p.m. or do you, or is that the solution? No. So you know, I do sober runs and then non-sober runs, and I get really like, <laughs> benders. I get too money, uh, too muddy, and then I don't know what the headaches are about. It's like every time I feel an ounce of discomfort, like I can't do cold showers. And I now you get a piercing headache. I can't squat 400 pounds, or I can, but it just hurts. I it's can't like do, a like flex my, thrown into the, the middle. Yeah, of the yeah. 30th pull up is gonna debilitate me with a headache. It's anything like any strain, any exertion. The one thing that gives breathing. you solace. I know that's the one thing I've had. Now, did you so now I'm kind of like I'm do martial arts? Because I s- you see the ears. Yeah. You see them not now, but, but I but you, I, I you said cl- you did I, notice. I clocked it. Do I get like do, do, so you eyed me up, saw the ears. Yeah, yeah, it's like pretty much the one two I step right there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You see ears. I go, okay, you did martial arts. If you did martial arts, it would potentially explain headaches, maybe. No, that's the thing. Like I, it was wrestling. Oh, I see. Yeah, elite wrestling, and then. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah, world class wrestling, and then, then I, <laughs> you dabbled with world class wrestling. Yeah, yeah, the, yeah. the headache might be the weight of the gold. No, medals. I've never <laughs> had headaches. Like that's the one that I was like, fuck. I have a headache every even, single day. I can't relate to a headache. They suck, don't they? Now they debilitate me for every day for the past like ten days. But um, yeah. are you going to do something? Remember when you had a brain tumor scare? Scare like. Two years ago? It was just like lymph nodes. Yeah. Yeah. I always make my afflictions very known. I'm like very much a pussy. Oh, yeah. I'm Me too. Very, I'm not agreeing. I'm saying yeah, I am too. Elite too. level yeah. pussy. Thank you, man. <laughs> like World class super, pussy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like I, will, like I will go hard in the gym. I'll be intense as anyone else in the yeah. world, like on an <laughs> Olympic level. But <laughs> as soon what, as are I, you trying to impress him? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he's cool. It's, it's fucking he's cool working, dude. He's, he's cool, cool as hell. I'm like, shit. This guy's an athlete. Yeah, yeah. He's gonna pound yeah. four locos and hit the gym. This guy's uh, kicks thank ass. You. <laughs> mm. <laughs> thank you. What is this? What are you doing, Mook? Don't worry about it. I'm worried sick whenever you're like, working uh, on the computer. Like being in the comedic field, doing stand up as mm-hmm. for a living. Like, what do you ever struggle with spiraling in and out of like? Uh, getting fucked up. Yeah, inopportune times. No, it's it's a good. Qu- a lot of comedians are sober because you spend so much of your life like in clubs and getting paid mm-hmm. in drink tickets. And mm-hmm. when are you're you getting- sober? No. Oh, okay. No, no. But I'm saying it's very easy to like fall into that. Right. Um. I think I. I have the same amount of problem with booze whether or not I'm doing comedy consistently because if I have weekends off, I'm home with my friends yeah. who have like worked a normal nine to five all week and they want to get fucked up on the weekend. And I'm like, that sounds yeah. awesome. It's too. unavoidable, I think. You can't uh, mm-hmm. blaming your line of work. The nine to five right. guys go harder. Way harder. They go yeah. harder on the weekends. On the weekends, yes. For mm-hmm. me, it's like if your job is to perform something, you will do anything to be at your best. Yeah. You will sell your soul. Like you will ruin friendships, relationships, and you will probably do uh, <laughs> drugs or alcohol that will make you perform better. It's There's a lot to unpack <laughs> with that take. Yeah. <laughs> That's a good opening question, man. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. I, I don't think that's all necessary to perform at a high level. But I think like a lot of people, it could, it's easy to fall into that. We're here with Joey yes. Avery. How many relationships have you destroyed? <laughs> yeah. for no, I, I've, I'm almost the opposite. I'm like, I think that uh, the thing that makes achieving anything in entertainment even feel good is being able to have your like friends and family that aren't in that field that think what you're doing is cool instead of just getting lost in the constant chase which mm-hmm. is never really rewarding. Damn. Like anytime you yeah, have you're like right. a, yeah. Cuz if you, anytime like let's say you do a, you have a podcast that does crazy numbers, you walk out you're like that's awesome, you enjoy it for one day, the next day you're like oh shit, how do we do better than that next week? And yeah, you're do just it like again. back um, into yeah, the, cycle, the numbers game is Which is con- normal, but chance, like yeah. you need to a, a, be a normal human and enjoy some of your time here before you Exactly. That well that's die the from healthy headaches. approach. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Not the Olympic level approach. Yeah. Yeah. You ever tear your Achilles? <laughs> yeah yeah have you, you have do you do you know that 
Yeah, it's... I did quick research downstairs. Okay, I was going to say, yeah, <laughs> I was like, that happened recently, and I made a lot of content about it. <laughs> I played. Pi- I didn't scroll after scroll too far. You did not. I, I played pickleball one time, and and my the kids. most devastating injury somebody can get, dude. It was that's, insane. Yeah, that's, everyone says that's like the worst. I went. Uh, Pickleball. I, was, I still had a, a day job at the time. Uh, I worked for Chubby's clothing brand. Oh, okay. And uh, we were at yeah. a, like a company offsite and we were supposed to do pickleball, but then they're like, it's raining. We're not going to do it. So we go to the bar and we're drinking and there's pickleball just out there. A few mm-hmm. drinks in, we're like, dude, it's light out. So yeah. we just go out. I'm wearing vans. I play, first time I've ever played, one of the best to ever do it, <laughs> nine and oh. Damn. Can't even get pushed off the thing mm-hmm. and just went for I one ball that, yeah. in it. You felt Ugh. it like. I fucking Dre Greenlaw, dude. It was God like damn. Bowl. It it sucked. It sucked. Uh, that sucks too because it's a sport that has reached popularity based on the fact that it doesn't get old people injured. It, it's right. Yeah. yeah that's it's why safety. It My dad rips like 10 a days. Like he'll do. He'll <laughs> Not all do of us are from marathon. elite genetics. Right. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, you're right. <laughs> well, no, what you say is your muscles are too explosive. Dude, I that is that is what I would say on yes. stage all the time. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's yeah. like my fucking tendons can't keep up, you know. That's their fault. Mm. Uh I did learn through that that Cause you know, once you have one injury, all the people who have had that injury, like come out of the woodworks mm-hmm. to talk about it with right. you. It's kind and of a comfort. It's comforting. It but is. you're 33. Yeah. You'll never, ever be the same. Right. I kind of like, well, t- it was a year before I broke my, <laughs> so I broke my left ankle. So I was in a boot for like half of the previous year. And then I get out of the boot and then I tore my right Achilles. And then I <laughs> actually got out of that boot for like a week and they were like, Hey, you're out of the boot, but you should probably bring it with you because I was going to spring training, like a boys trip. I'm a Gi- San Francisco Giants fan. We yeah. go to Scottsdale, you know, golf party, whatever. We were out at a club getting hammered. I retore it. Freeze. Put your hands in the air. Do you swear to tell the move, the whole move, and nothing but the move? And I swear to God, you better not say chilling at your apartment or going to the same dive bar with the same couple people for the 20th weekend oh, in a row. I'm sorry, I am, Mr. No, Officer. You, you got to go to an event. You got to go see your favorite musician, your favorite comedian, your favorite sporting event. You got to do things, especially if you're in your, in your 20s or 30s. You got to go to a big event and you got to use game time because they'll give you the best deals. All right. A lot of you people just stress and stress about your financial future, making plans, and you just seek comfort. You seek your comfort zone instead of doing something that will make you infinitely happier and give you memories that will last a lifetime. I'm talking about using game time. It's the fast and easy way to buy tickets for all the sports, music, comedy, and theater events, etc. near you. Maybe money is an issue. Um, ask your mom, your dad to borrow their Nutribullet and pawn it off. There's easy ways to get money. Um, last minute tickets, flash deals. You know how I feel about zone deals. I love them. They have them. Game time. Easy to find and buy tickets for every kind of event in your area. They're obsessed, and I've talked to them personally, and I've talked about this before, but it's true. The people at the Game Time Factory, even the the laborers, are obsessed with finding ways to help you save money on tickets. Game Time has deals on tickets right up to the start of the, the event, and even an hour after it starts, if that's your thing, to show up an hour late. It's the place to find last minute seats, find exclusive flash deals and sponsored deals on tickets for football, basketball, baseball, con- you know the deal. GameTime.co, not com, co. Sir. Oh, yeah. Oh, I forgot about the actual deal aside from the convenience of the app. Download the GameTime app, create an account, and use code UNTOLD. For $20 off your first purchase. That's a lot of money. Terms apply again. Create an account and redeem code untold for $20 off. A new untold story is sponsored by BetterHelp. The question is, time for what? If time was unlimited, how would you use it? The best way to squeeze that special thing into your schedule 
is to know what's important to you and make it a priority. What I'm getting at is that therapy can help. It can help you find what matters to you so you can do more of it. There is an infinite amount of benefits from not going to therapy, but using therapy via your phone with BetterHelp. If you're thinking of starting therapy, give BetterHelp a try. I'm telling this to your to your ears right now because I truly believe it. It's entirely online, designed to be convenient, flexible, and suited to your schedule. All you have to do for BetterHelp is fill out a brief questionnaire to get ma- you get matched with a licensed therapist and then you can switch therapists anytime for no additional charge and it won't be awkward at all. They won't even know you switched. Learn to make time for what makes you happy with BetterHelp. Visit betterhelp.com slash new N-E-W today to get $10 off your first month. Listen, if bettering your life, bettering your mental health, bettering your day-to-day mood and happiness is on the table, why not take advantage of it Hey, maybe it doesn't work. Doubt it. Might as well give it a try. That's BetterHelp, H-E-L-P dot com slash new. So I actually Uh, tore my Achilles twice last year. In the club? After having broken my left ankle. tore the Achilles in the club? Yeah. Doing what? Uh, I was on a bar stool, and I think I I kind of put my feet up and like bounced them. Just did that? And it just went. (laughs) It ripped your Achilles. God damn. Did you know as soon as it happened? Uh, yeah, my friend said I fell off of a bar stool and stood up and looked at him and said, uh, well, I'm not going to ruin the evening so we can stay, but something very bad just happened and I'm going to need to sit here. <laughs> so you knew- wait, wait, are you saying you stood on top of no, the bar No, no, I was uh, sitting on the bar stool. Look, look at, here, Reed, maybe get, show him what he did, the, the strenuous thing he did with his feet. Kind of like if you put your feet on a thing and you bounce them, <laughs> and, but you're not supposed to go do that when you just and got out just, of a boot oh, oh yeah I'll, i'm gonna be honest with you a lot of this is theoretical given the state that we were in ah uh, fair <laughs> yeah fair um i really want to talk about this wonka exhibit have you seen this you've no told, you've heard about oh I'm, I'm obsessed with it there's this wonka ex- uh, exhibit uh no no not that one yet mook the first one this uh i sent you two um this there's this wonka exhibit in stockholm or something somewhere in the uk and they used AI art to get I don't people. Think hey, hey, that sounded hey, stupid hey, as fuck. Hey, hey. So uh, no, no, no. Um, about it, like, oh, um, <laughs> not. St- oh, Jesus Christ! Somewhere in Europe. Somewhere in Europe. Yeah. Um, Europe, kind of. You know. That was embarrassing. Oh well. Um, <laughs> white Europe, all the UK. The white people <laughs> east of us. And so this is the art they showed. Show the first picture. Scotland. Mm. It started with an S. And they showed that as Whoa, this that immersive amazing. Wonka exhibit. Yeah. Okay. And then this is what people went to. And it's my favorite. <laughs> no! <laughs> what? And show, wait, I think the next slide's the Oompa Loompa. With up in the top right. Oh, <laughs> the exhibit. Oh. <laughs> that can't Look be at the true. last line. The children got two jelly beans each. <laughs> Is that a bouncy castle in the yeah. cafeteria? And this, the, so they showed the first. Wait, did, they pay, did they pay an entry fee? Yes. People called the police. No, I would be, I would be so pumped. 35, is that euros? Per person? Was this yeah, designed for maybe f- pounds? This is like the fire fest of children. Yes, yeah. they just read it. Fire fest. And so now more details are coming. Like they made their own villain called the unknown. <laughs> and I, they, the Willy Wonka. It's, that is the funniest yeah, visual. I'm obsessed. That's, just like a, that's what they. A picnic. <laughs> I cannot get enough. Is that even the same photo? Like it's the first not. one looks AI. It's yeah. Not. They used AI art to get people there. It's like AI plus trippy. That no. I think that's a zoomed in still from Candyland. That yeah, that's not even Wonka. Do you think this is a scammer or do you think this is like just a really creative person who simply doesn't have it? You know, like a well-meaning person who's yeah. like, no, I this have was this not awesome a idea. You can't yeah. look at that. What if you're just an incompetent idiot and you're like, you know what? I'm yeah. at least good at one Instagram post. My thought was that yeah. this is this has the makings of a drug addict. 
who's you trying think, to get back on his feet and is like, I'm going to do something creative, it, it, did their very best, had a vision, and then um, it just didn't come together. I could see this being a grind set kind of guy and just like, you, the money's in kids. Like, like <laughs> yeah. The, you well, know, that's, kid, yeah, <laughs> kind of an Epstein character. Yeah, kind of a little bit, but that is so... That's so funny. It looks like, what, the, are they in an airplane? Look, zoom in on that Oompa Loompa. Rudy, it might be a drug addict. This is drug behavior, yeah. That, yeah. You think so? Like thinking that you could build Psychosis. Willy Wonka's factory? <laughs> All right. <laughs> <laughs> Moving Trump, crippled Jesus by Jesus Christ. Christ. Yeah, oh, move. Move. Dude, he's so... Look at him ah, trying to scroll. His favorite Jesus you're, I think you're Christ. on the wrong computer he literacy. Keeps on trying, there we go. It is harrowing. <laughs> <laughs> she kind of looks like that, that woman who was on SNL years back. Yeah, uh, Rachel Dratch. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's what she's up to. That's what she's up to. <laughs> <laughs> there he, there, there he, <laughs> yeah, yeah dude, that's where, a, that's where she's at. Um, right now. Um, she it. was funny too. She's oh, very, very funny. funny. Yeah. <laughs> this, <laughs> this is the saddest part of the the whole show. Oh, yep, good, good side by side, Mook. Yeah, yeah. there they are. Mook. <laughs> 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 Uh, that that yeah. might just be like a meth lab, but like, what is she like making? Is that where they make the two jelly beans? That's to where get you to get the... your two jelly beans. It looks like they just have like a Fiji <laughs> bottle of water in that glass case, <laughs> that football <laughs> autograph case. I really think someone tried their best. They're just an idiot. I don't. And know. I, I think drugs is a great, yeah, is a great call. This has the the trappings of someone. Who's... So I, yeah, I admit it. I've never seen any of the Wonka movies. But it's not I'm, holding you back. To my analysis. understanding, like the chocolate factory is like the utopia of utopia. You've never seen Willy Wonka. No. We talk about. There's so many. I've never seen any of the Batman movies. Not proud of it. I think I'm Whoa. a shithead. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you are a real shithead for real not seeing Batman. But uh, I haven't seen any of the Wonka movies. Are you, the chocolate factory is amazing. It's grand. Right? It has an yeah, elevator yeah, that goes four directions. Right. Yeah. It's tubes a, it, and it's specifically designed to be like wowing and overstimulating that's what I'm saying, and a yeah. place of whimsy this accomplishes almost all the opposite which makes you wonder if it is art mm. no yes this is not art yeah oh. this uh, this might have yeezy written this, all over this it. like reminds me of like a, <laughs> a british <laughs> vice dude who's like i did this as did you experience. ever try to like make an amusement park in your backyard we as had a, a carnival in our front yard okay. it made the paper the intelligencer no it didn't we, yeah <laughs> Can we? Are there records of it? I'll get it by the time the episode's over. Yeah. But what? Um, what was in the carnival in your front yard? We had uh, va various carnival games, and we donated all to Catholic charities. Wow! I was so pissed. <laughs> How much money did you make? Two hundred dollars. Yeah, that's a lot. It was a lot in two thousand five. That's big. What? Is it, whose idea was it? Yours and your sister's? Yeah, we hosted it. You hosted the carnival. Yeah, your you parents should have let you keep that money if it was your idea. Yeah. What the 200 fuck? Two hundred is like. What they're were trying the, to instill good value. What yeah. were the games you had in your front yard? Yeah. Um, I, and were there prizes? Yes, there were prizes. We set it up in the whole front yard down into my neighbor, the Taylor's yard. Uh, and they just let you do that? It was so cool. It was the best day of my life. I bet you it looked like this. We made I bet you were making it in it probably, your head. Yeah, I, need I to bet see you it, it fucking... Looked like I guarantee you it sucked <laughs> yeah. so bad. There were just like some cones and... Uh, yeah, like you knock over a milk bottle. Go to the, the video of it. I think it's them welcoming welc it. welcoming the children too. It's so not. Uh, well, I guess I, I again. I thought we were in Stockholm, but yeah. No, my bad. Yeah, <laughs> it is kind of depressing in Scottish. The made-up villain called the Unknown, an evil chocolate maker who lives in the walls. Event had no chocolate. Chocolate. Now it's done to a single jelly bean. No chocolate and a cup of lemonade. Here, start it from the get because I think you can see Willy Wonka in the beginning. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Looks like mystery from the pickup <laughs> artist. <laughs> it's the end. <laughs> <laughs> Watch your step, it's the unknown. What is that? What is that? It's the unknown. <laughs> yeah, oh, drugs. They're, they're drugs. Yeah, it's yeah, drugs. drugs. Yeah. 100 yeah. percent yeah. That's actually really scary. Yeah, that's horrifying. But how does he say what's he say? Watch your step? <laughs> Watch your that? step. It's the unknown. It's the unknown. It's the unknown. I think they're actually that is scary. I as wish fuck. there was more to that video. I, was I need more details. For the next minute. I'll, I'll keep hunting for it. I also like how he's hiding behind a mirror that is nowhere near full size. <laughs> <laughs> That's the unknown, dude. Which is, is very scary. That mirror is ten dollars at Target. I yeah. like bought that mirror. That's in a beach college. towel behind them. Yeah, they're in an airplane hangar. Maybe where? <laughs> it looks like a bus depot. That's something. <laughs> this is a a big scam. It has to yeah. be. I'm obsessed with it. And I need. I kind of want to fly out there to do it. It's still open. I think. 
can we call them? Oh, that's a good. That's. I would sweet. love for you to be able to call. That them, would Kyle. be great. You, maybe you could talk to the unknown. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the Willy Wonka. But like, how mainstream is like the criticism of this? It's getting just, there now. Oh, then they probably nightmare New Willy Wonka experience leaves fam leaves children in tears. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's a scandal. Okay. Yeah, let's check out some of these articles. There was not really a villain in the. I ha, I maybe saw the Willy Wonka movie a long time ago. There wasn't like a villain, was there? The villain is your own vices. Well, there was a guy oh, in the beginning that asked shit. Charlie to steal the gobstopper. Right. And he gives it back to Willy Wonka and then he wins. He wins the factory from. Right. But it's not like a horrifying creature that they just added. I mean, children die. What was the deal with like Death. the family that lived in a fucking bed? Eternally, <laughs> yeah. His uh, Charlie's both sets of his grandparents yes. stayed in the same bed. They were poor, poor, freaky, mm. cabbage soup. Yeah, not for me. It's it's a good <laughs> good movie, me. man. Not for me. That bouncy castle. Is there any more? Can carry footage? one child. You found the number. The Willie's oh. chalk. Oh my god! See, this is whoever their marketing person. It, it looks like indulge in a yeah. chocolate fantasy that never looks... before seen. Oh, I've heard that before. Yeah. Yeah. They used AI. I think these are AI generated images. They said it was all gibberish. Definitely. It looks amazing. Go to the experience. There's the phone, There's Kyle. The phone. Call him. House of Illuminati. Oh. <laughs> what? This what? is horrifying. This is weird. Yeah. Good luck with that, Chief. Yeah, give it a call, Kyle. Yeah, a Info yeah. at houseofilluminati.com. The, the, the third floor of Paul Street. 0203. Nine one six. It six. starts with zero. It's two. Scotland. Oh, then we probably can't reach them. What do you mean? You I can call phones, other countries. Yeah, what? Is phones that a new development? <laughs> Via WhatsApp? <laughs> Have you ever called someone from Europe and they answer? I think but, I've done Be it. honest with me. <laughs> So, because you're laughing at me, I don't as think if it's I like have. the most I ridiculous. Have. Have. You called someone in Europe. My boy was abroad in Italy. He was abroad. Him. Did you call someone with a European phone? Yes. Try no, it. He had a European number. He had an Italian phone. O two o three nine one six six o four seven. And ask if uh, Violet's there. Yeah. yeah. It's not going to go through. Uh, how do you make an international call? We don't have the tech to make that. WhatsApp. <laughs> wait, we don't have the tech do to it. call Scotland? I don't think. <laughs> yeah, wait. We, we would have been had a field day if we could call Scotland. <laughs> That's what the show would be called. I would never stop. First dial 011, the US 011 is the US exit code. Next dial 44, the Scotland code. So 01144 and then the and number. And then the number. Okay. 0203-916-6047. There's no way. If we can just call these guys. Please check the number and dial again. Mm -hmm. Damn. Is there a Google review? Is it is it shut down? I want to be able to call these guys. How to call, call Scotland seven steps with, with pictures. pictures. That seems Wiki like a how, lot. How to, <laughs> that's a lot. That's an <laughs> article I'm not clicking on. All right. See, that's... They always start articles with, like, calling Scotland is a good thing to do. You're like, tell <laughs> yeah. me Why? how to do it. Yeah. 0144. Okay. Why seven steps? Oh. 141 oh, oh, for Glasgow. Glasgow? Yeah. Yeah. God damn, it's okay. impossible. Yeah, fuck it. Yeah, right, yeah. I wanted to really look how long that number is. Yeah, it's all right. Hold on. Now let's do it. I'm gonna try. You try it. Is it in is it in Glasgow? Oh no, don't scroll. Yeah. Would Joey, would, did you ever jailbreak your iPod? <laughs> no, I didn't. I did. Yeah, I did my yeah, phone. Yeah. So it didn't say AT&T anymore. It just had a little Charizard. But that's yeah. all I did then. It just broke my phone. How I the had best. the, it was the first rush. Rush. I'm I'm so old. I had the iPod that the thing actually spun. The very first generation, the wheel was a literal spinning Oh, I wheel. had that too. Yeah. And it had four buttons over the top. Yeah. yeah. I still I have, have mine. Sometimes I just pull Y'all it out ancient. and look at it. <laughs> <laughs> it's fire. It's, yeah. And then you, uh, yeah. The games on it were a blast. Yeah. Not that they weren't at all. Games? Yeah, there were games at on it. At the time. Music in quiz. Context, there was parachuters. I do remember parachuters and music quiz. Yeah, I had that. Did you ever play the brick game oh, on Blackberry? Yeah. That was... That was a fun one. 
I, I beat it. I remember I was like, I was playing that game a lot. And then I was kind of like, you know, I, I was like, I need to be more focused and like pay more attention. I shouldn't be playing games on my phone. And then the girl I was seeing at the time, her dad remains like the richest, most successful man I've ever met. He had the highest brick blasting score of anyone I knew. There and we I was go. Like, Dude, cell phone games <laughs> make you rich. Wait, That's you're, how we do it. Oh, and yeah, genius. You. You're from the Bay. I am. Was this... Eve Jobs, Wait, daughter of Steve that, Jobs. No, no. Would he know to Steve that playing Black? Awesome. Do you know? Do you know how to call Scotland? Not the area code. No, no. Do you have like WhatsApp on your phone? Yeah, I do. Yeah, you got to call Scotland real quick. Dude, a mid podcast steak is unreal. <laughs> yeah, you asked me if I wanted steak. <laughs> yeah. Wait, you didn't no, ask I'm you guys. <laughs> That's I guess not oh my god, Donnie. Donnie, he did it again. <laughs> Fuck. All right, rent app. And now I'm in a stage where I feel like I pretty much know these people personally. I've been working with them on projects, on ads, on songs, on video montages. They're great people. They have a great sense of humor. They believe in us. They trust us. And I believe in them and trust them, even though it doesn't require anything to trust them because... Their product speaks for itself. Today, we've got something truly special for all the renters and landlords out there. If you don't know what that means, if you're looking for an apartment or a place to live, that's you. Paying rent, it's something we all have to do. Let's be honest, it can sometimes, it's, it sucks. But there is a way to make it easier, more straightforward, and even beneficial for your financial future. That's Rent App. It is, like I've said in the past, the ultimate tool for renters everywhere. If you're renting or if you're a landlord, you might as well just download Rent App and use that because it's going to be the best method of doing so. It takes the hassle out of paying rent by depositing your payments directly into your landlord's bank account. No more trips to the ATM, no mailing checks, no managing balances in multiple apps. Just simple direct transactions that make life easier for both you and your landlord. And that's important to make life easier on your landlord and have a good relationship with them. They will not screw you over when it comes to a security deposit. If you're using Rent App, trust me, Rent App is also about helping you build a better financial future. Like I said, by optionally reporting your on time rent payments to the three major credit bureaus. RentApp brings you one step closer to home ownership and helps boost your credit score. There's that. So why wait? Head to the App Store and download RentApp today and follow RentApp at RentApp on Instagram and Twitter. And for our listeners, we've got an exclusive deal. Go to rent.app slash barstool to get $50 cash back. That's $50 cash back. Rent.app slash barstool rocket money and if you're not using it already or know what it is for some reason i guarantee you you're paying subscriptions that you forgot about monthly fees monthly subscriptions subscription boxes um whatever it might be it could be um it could be like peacock it could be whatever it is Time to get rid of that and get money back into your pocket. Um, now there's so much here. I'm trying to figure out where to start. Rocket Money is a personal finance app that finds and that's what it does. It cancels your unwanted subscriptions, monitors your spending, and helps lower your bills so that you can grow your savings. With Rocket Money... I have full control over my subscriptions and a clear view of my expenses. You can see all of your subscriptions in one place. And if you see something you don't want, Rocket Money can help you cancel it with a few taps. So a lot of those $1.99, $4.99, $10, even 99 cent subscriptions will add up. You, I guarantee you forgot about one or two at least. So download Rocket Money. It has over 5 million users and has saved a total of 500 million in canceled subscriptions, saving members up to $740 a year when using all of the app's features. Stop wasting money on things you don't use. 
cancel your unwanted subscriptions by going to rocketmoney.com slash untold. That's rocketmoney.com slash untold. What's up, Kyle? You had four loco. I'll have a steak. You, you were <laughs> mad at us for calling attention to your four loco. You're staring yeah, at my steak. Yeah, it looks great. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You want a piece? No. <laughs> I, always, I never order steak because it's, it's 12 times the amount of chewing as any other protein. <laughs> And I, we've talked about this at Ruth's Chris. You went on a, no. a you went on a rant at Ruth's I will Chris never order a in steak front of the waiter at a nice restaurant. What did you get at Ruth's Chris? Chilean sea bass. That is stupid. <laughs> You're at Ruth's Chris. He Everyone's went on. Like, you have to eat the steak. No, no. I am an. I eat for pleasure. Yes, dude. That's why it's a. You guys steak. eat to pr- impress other people. <laughs> what the fuck are yeah. you talking about? Yeah, because I, I, we even. Did an experiment. What? Chilean sea bass. I one fork bite, probably th- three mouth bites. You don't eat for Swallow. pleasure. You're eating for. You're eating for speed and efficiency. efficiency. Yeah. Well, either way, like you, no. <laughs> either, way, either way, you can't say either say way. Like a, a standard fish or even um, a chicken. It's gonna take four times less amount of chewing, at least. As a steak. So what? You're enjoying the steak during the chewing process. I guess, but you, a, you enjoy the food more swallowing. I need to swallow it. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's the nature of eating. No, dude. You, <laughs> that's you eat the end taste. Result. You I'm eat to my- satiate yourself. So you have to swallow. Uh, uh, th- all right, then try this. Try sh- chewing it and then spitting it out. See if you I get would, any pleasure. I would rather that. chew and spit out a steak than just no, swallow you a wouldn't. steak. No, you would. Yes, wouldn't. I would, man. You need to, the swallowing is where the pleasure comes. <laughs> <laughs> that's Your a good, brain that's is a good rele- line to keep in yeah, mind. You, yeah. you, right, then, but what are you guys are you guys arguing that you just have to chew something? No, to but I'm saying the enjoyment <laughs> of food comes from taste. It necessitates swallowing <laughs> if you want to get the pleasure, or then uh, everyone would be skinny as rails. <laughs> <laughs> I think you're mixing up pleasure with. I with think what you your body what pleasure needs. is. Yeah. All right, you guys fast for a while, and then you finally get your your break. You get your big meal, and try just spitting it out instead of swallowing it. You will be miserable, and you will achieve- But I'm saying the enjoyment comes from the taste. It, but that- Would you yes, rather the taste never is taste important. again? You need both. And, yes. You can't have the first half. You need to swallow. You, Obviously. We're, but then we're why do not you care disagreeing about chewing? on that. No, you're, you're, this is straw man. This is straw man. Because I want- I want my eating experience to be more pleasure filled. So if I'm chewing for 75% of that experience, <laughs> that's going to just be cumbersome. Chew it. It'll take a while. It'll take a while. <laughs> I won't. But that's that is the time where you should be getting that's most of your savoring. enjoyment. You're not supposed to speed through of meals. Of the taste. Yeah, that's how I eat. I want to just I want to quickly quickly get satiated. <laughs> That if there so was like backwards. a pill, if there was a it's pill, it's not backwards. If there was a pill that you could just take, it that just was, means that was like would give you the perfect amount of nutrients, and you wouldn't even have to go through the whole process. Would you prefer that? No, because what, I'm not disagreeing that chewing it and then getting the taste is important. No, but you want to go to a restaurant to swallow. Yeah, I, that's what I love. <laughs> I guess so. I love. I love the. That's what I like. Been I like to BJ's? Softer, yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right. Ex- explain this to me. We were out Friday. You texted Nick that you weren't going to come because you had an aggressive dinner. Oh, yeah. Then you just didn't text us. What does that mean? What's an aggressive dinner? Um, It was started at seven, ended at 11. It was a four hour dinner. Yeah. It was like, you know, guys. It's a lot of steaks. Like some people make dinner like a, a big event. But people so people make dinner like concerts nowadays. It's, yeah, yeah. There's like the socializing and there's a constant ordering of more and more and more food. So that was like. You had to have been out. in hell. Um, Yeah. I mean, it was it was great <laughs> food. But yeah, I need like a one and a half hour dinner, not four. Yeah. Ideally, you would have a 30-second dinner where you swallow it whole. Yeah, no, that's, that's my genetics. My dad's the same way. Like, we just, the eating is all about just getting it done. Call your dad right now. Ask him what's more important, taste or I hope swallow. he's not in Scotland. This Wait, is my yeah, take. We can't get him. <laughs> Donnie just said, got through to Scotland. All you have to do is add four, plus 44 to the number and call like normal. It's like the band. <laughs> what do you, like, cook? Do you cook for yourself? My girlfriend does. What does she make? Um, it's a lot of chicken based dinners, yeah. but like some beef, but nothing not, like beef. 
What kind of beef? Yeah, man. You have to chew beef. Unless it's tartare. I you like, do like, order tartare Korean, everywhere yeah. we go. I like softer foods. I think that's what it is. I'm not saying like, oh, I, I'm, I'm above you guys. But it's just how I <laughs> eat. Yeah. All right. I'm going to get through to these guys. Just get to the bottom of this. Yeah, so plus 44. 0203916. Joe, what's your uh, workout regimen? What's my workout regimen? Yeah. I know you. <laughs> nice forearms, by the Thank way. You. Thank Do you. Do you work them specifically? No. Okay. Uh, but they, they, in most lifting things, it comes, you know, it does, it's, yeah. it's ancillary. Uh-huh. I have, uh, I just have a friend of mine is like, a, was a trainer for the Sharks. Uh, oh, NHL oh, wow. team and so I just have him make me like spreadsheets of shit that I have to do like a four day workout plan mm-hmm. and I, I do so much better on that than when I go in there and I'm like well, what do I want to do today let me get something you done like it's like fuck yeah. alright I have to do all this I'll just get it done Kyle used to work out before the headaches before that's the, the squatting 400 is that true no okay <laughs> no. that's like Aaron Donald yeah well no but uh what's he squat elite you know elite there he athlete. goes Okay. You don't like watching this, Kyle? You're an animal, dude. How many did you get? Because in my head, I look way bigger than this. It's all, <laughs> dude. When you, whenever you see footage of yourself doing something athletic, it's <laughs> yeah. pretty yeah, I tough. Because it. <laughs> yeah. it feels so good while you're doing it, and then you see it, and you're like, mm, right, okay, yeah. You got thirty seven. It was 135. So. Well, yeah, I figured that would have been <laughs> insane at 225. Did you film that? Yeah. 37 Go back. still. That's, that's a... But yeah, but I, you know, I lift a lot. That's <laughs> right, yeah. No headache that day. Did you get up from the couch or did you just decide to zoom? I just zoomed. <laughs> <All right. laughs> I got this, too. What'd you get? At the end, and then you just... Thank you, Moo. All right. Yeah. Yeah, yeah the boy's watching. Mm-hmm. Good job, good job, man. Yeah, it's a great bit, right? Thanks. <laughs> Did numbies? Did it? Yeah, like forty thousand views. That makes no sense. <laughs> <laughs> that makes no, 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 no sense. Do you? People uh, like to watch people lift. They have things to say. It was that's a huge. My, uh, it's weird to me, but. <laughs> Did you get the uh, the car? Anything about the carnival from your dad? No. I don't know if it counts as a carnival it was if there weren't the rides. Paper. It was like uh, mini games, like a picture of like carny activities all over the, the yard. bearded can, lady. Moot, can you search Wheeling Intelligencer? Oh, you can find this. Uh, Kyle Bauer. No. Why, is there going to be too many? Carnival. <laughs> the carnival won't show up. I don't even know if my name was on that. A man of mystery with a potentially big secret. What? <laughs> it's going oh, there's your all obituary, right, yeah, Kyle. <laughs> I don't think it happened, man. It did. We'll get the picture by the time. Yeah, by the end of the day. You just said by the end of the episode. <laughs> he said by the end of the day. <laughs> Damn. Nothing. Sorry, man. I'll get it. You made the Bethlehem newsletter at best. No, it was the Wheeling Intelligence, sir. Mmm. Factors delicious, ready to eat meals make eating better every day easy. Wherever tomorrow takes you, be ready with pre prepared, chef crafted, dietitian approved meals delivered right to your door. If that means nothing to you, let me just tell you this I've tried seven to eight of Factors meals. And they're all very good. Better than anything you can pick up to go at a restaurant order on Uber Eats. Trust me. And there's even more to enjoy with over, they have over 55 nutrition packed add ons that can help make your weekly meal planning even more delicious. What are you waiting for? Get started today and have a feel good week of meals ready to go. And again, it's not all about flavor and calories you'll have 35 different options a week to choose from if you're into keto if you want to go low calorie if you want to go vegan vegetarian pescatarian there's options for that two minute meals two minutes fuel up with factors restaurant quality meals that are ready to heat and eat wherever you are whenever you are yeah snacks smoothies and more the smoothies are phenomenal Discover a wide variety of easy options for the entire day, like breakfast, midday bites, and more. They've done the math. 
Um, Factor is less expensive than takeout, and every meal is dietitian approved to be nutritious and delicious. Head to factormeals.com slash KB50 and use KB50 to get 50% off. That's code KB50 at factormeals.com slash KB50 to get 50% off. No brainer. All right, here's the deal. We're on the same page with this one, but um, I'm confident in it. It is a movie yes. on Netflix. Um, let me just see what they have to say. All right, The Gentleman follows... Okay, The Gentleman, proper noun, that's the title of the film. The Gentleman follows drug dealing. Okay, listening. It follows drug dealing... Murdering aristocrats in Britain's criminal underworld. It's based on Guy Ritchie's award-winning film. It's a new Netflix. Oh, it's a series that follows a whole new cast of criminal lords. It stars Theo James, the guy from White Lotus, who is, um, which one is he? He is in season two. He's the married. Australian. Oh. No, he's married to uh, the blonde girl that he cheats on. Okay. Ooh, he's cool. He is thrust. Okay. Theo James is thrusted into the criminal underworld after inheriting his father's estate only to discover it's sitting. Oh, I was about to sneeze. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, I'm, I'm allergic to great series on Netflix, which is a major drag for me. Um, so Theo James, the guy, the the hot uh, womanizer from White Lotus, uh, is thrust into the criminal underworld after inheriting his father's estate, only to, disc- to discover it's sitting on top of a drug empire. Next bullet point: Virgin Mary full of weed, Hitler's balls, cocaine chickens, and a priest with a shotgun. You'll see some crazy shit in The Gentleman. All right. Yes. That's all they had to say. I like it. I love the brevity. It speaks for itself. Uh, yeah, I want to watch this series now. So what happens when you try to play gangsters at their own game? <laughs> yeah. Don't miss The Gentleman. Only on Netflix. Debuting March 7th. Do you uh, like word games? <laughs> <laughs> he, I, you're being flirted with this whole entire yeah, Okay, okay yeah. nice. Yeah, yeah, I got, like, yeah. Get a little four loco in this guy. Yeah. He's ready. Oh, that's why we were just watching him bench press? Is yeah. that what's going on? Yeah. Yeah. A four loco, watch me bench press, then we'll play a word game. You're right on this. bench pressing. Yeah. Yeah. That was ridiculous. Yeah. I would never pull myself up. That, that, yeah. <laughs> Do I like a word game? Yeah. Well, yeah. well we have a You loco. came and sit down. He was like, I love to swallow. Yeah. I, I'm yeah. drunk. Yeah. Watch me bench. <laughs> yeah. How'd you get those forearms? How'd, yeah, what's uh, going on? Yeah. I'm curious. Yeah. yeah, no, it's 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 fair. Do you like word games? Fun and games? I'm um, oh, I'm I, I you know I don't usually identify as that, but I'm certainly down with word games. <laughs> yeah. Doesn't identify. Okay. What, do you have some? Kyle? Yeah, well, we got some. We got a slate of celebrity birthdays, and you have to guess whose birthday it is. Is that a word game? It sounds it'll, like it'll, I'm it'll just be a word a, game a based on based okay. on the name of the celebrity. Okay. <laughs> what do you got? A thespian thief steals all the top Broadway awards. A thespian thief steals all the top Broadway awards. Mm -hmm. This is a motivational influencer. But he's thespian? A thespian thief. A Broadway thief. So Tony. Steals all the top. Oh. Tony. Is there Robbins? Yeah. Tony Robbins. Oh, yeah. Dude. Happy birthday, yeah, Tony yeah, Robbins. Yeah, yeah. Happy good birthday, Tony Robbins. Okay. Way to be, Joe. That was that felt good. Bangkok Ladyboy stinky <laughs> on this little mountain. <laughs> That's um an athlete turning 30. Rip, rip okay. that again. <laughs> okay. Bangkok Ladyboy stinky on this little mountain. Is that your Bangkok accent? I I don't know. <laughs> Bangkok Ladyboy. <laughs> stinky. <laughs> On this little mountain. (laughs) (laughs) 
um, <laughs> Wait, okay. one more time just so I can Bangkok lady boy stinky <laughs> on this little mountain <laughs> Uh, okay. All right. Okay. Now you talk it out. Yeah. Okay. Little mouth. So any any words that you Bangkok lady boy Thai Thai Rudd Banks is like a small but small like mountain. that's an athlete. A What's Thai Tyreek Hill. Small... Tyreek Hill. Tyreek Hill. 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 Yes. <laughs> oh, <my God. laughs> All right. Can you just say one? This is a rapper. Um, I don't have his age, and I would guess forties. A foreign man who doesn't know how to pluralize words <laughs> expresses that he thought a 1975 shark attack movie was awesome. Okay. I'm th this this is ja, ja Rule. Ja <laughs> yeah, Ja Rule. Happy oh. birthday, Ja Rule. <laughs> <laughs> uh, um, wow. All right. Athlete turning 42. Um, Van Halen split a Big Mac while David Lee was supposedly in the bathroom taking a shit. <laughs> Wait, again, please. The band Van Halen split a Big Mac while David Lee was supposedly taking a shit in the bathroom. And supposedly who, taking a shit. <laughs> yeah. And who is this? This is an athlete. Okay. Former, turning forty-two. Okay. So David Lee Roth, Diamond, right? I don't yeah. know if that's part of it. But yeah, that's it could one be. Of his things. Take supposedly taking a shit. So David Lee didn't get in on the Big Mac. <laughs> <laughs> Hungry Roth. Uh, uh, am I on the right track? Yeah, I guess. <laughs> Something McGrady. Why McGrady? I don't know. Like Mick. <laughs> okay. Uh, uh, splitting a Big Mac. Okay. The band Van Halen. Splitting a Big Mac without David Lee Roth because he's supposedly shitting. <laughs> <laughs> I might have to throw in the towel. Yeah, okay. nah, <laughs> ben Rothlessburger. <laughs> no no Roth on them for the burger. Unfortunately, Ro that makes, unfortunately, that makes sense. A Rothless burger. Why Ben? Why Ben? Yeah. That, I just could only do his last name. But, <laughs> <yeah>. <laughs> but then I, you know, a, a reference burger. to the bathroom stall. <laughs> a Rothless burger. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, you have to talk about the bathroom <laughs> stall. Yeah. 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 Kind of laid it up for you guys. Supposedly <laughs> taking a shit. I there was a lot of mystery I wasn't fucking, in that one. Yeah. All right, you guys could have gotten that. <laughs> oh my god, no. That was gettable. <laughs> no. You, you guys were talking about Roth, talking about you didn't piece together burger, but <laughs> uh, all right, athlete former again turning 39. Y'all smoking pubic hair. <laughs> <sighs> Let me make it easier. My shit's loud and smooth like a shaved pussy. Meanwhile, y'all smoking on blank. <laughs> okay. Bush. My shit's loud and smooth. Oh, Reggie, Reggie Bush. Bush. Reggie Bush. Reggie Bush. Happy Bush. birthday. Happy birthday. <laughs> One more. One more. You code switched for the black guys we yeah. have to guess. Uh, he <laughs> code switched for the Thai for lady the boy. Uh, <laughs> yeah. I mean. Is it a code switch or is it an impression? Uh, I don't yeah. know. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, neither works. <laughs> uh, historical figure, dead. If Sean, the Seahawks running back, is Hershey's chocolate, and Drake from Drake and Josh is a marshmallow, mm -hmm. then I guess we're having s'mores. Alexander Graham Bell. Thank you. Oh, there we go. Nice. That was a damn good one, Kyle. Nice. <laughs> you need to make that into its own game show. I would love to. There's more that I didn't get to. Maybe we can try to. Okay, let's try to make one. Happy birthday to both Bryce Dallas and Ron Howard. Wow, they're born on the same born day. Born on the same day, same weekend. All right. Bryce Dallas Howard. So two Howards. That's hard. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Tua Tunga. <laughs> tongue of voila. <laughs> <laughs> what did you have for that? Something with a tongue magic trick. Uh, <laughs> tongue of voila. Two for one. <laughs> two, that's my Rebel Wilson. Okay. Mm -hmm. 44. Yeah. Give us one. Uh, rooted for the wrong side in the Civil War, uh, but 
f- found a friend in a volleyball. The volley, yeah, 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 a, vo- yeah a volleyball per- slave yeah. owner. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> volleyball slave. Owner. <laughs> yeah, yeah. See, <laughs> um, Ty- yeah. Yeah, see? obviously, <laughs> <laughs> Tyrese Halle Burton. <laughs> All right. Um, so it's a. Uh, Happy birthday. Okay, so um, yeah, that's easy. You are in a game, a snowboarding game with Witherspoon, and neither mm. of you win. Tyra, okay. And uh, but the actress Barry uh-huh. gets a sponsorship from another snowboard and wins. Yeah. Oh, nice. I was gonna that. do something gas oriented, like Halliburton. Didn't Halliburton was, like uh, rebuild like? Iraq. That's a name. Halliburton is a big comp, uh, company oh. that. Yeah, w- yeah. I don't know enough to and talk about. And then Tyrese it. in Fast and Furious. <laughs> yeah. Something. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's yeah. It's not bad. Where do you go to come up with these? Are you are you sitting? Are you? Is this like a morning coffee and you're just like staring out into the distance, trying to come up with these? Uh, we've been doing like word based shit for a while. Uh-huh. It's like now it's like automatic. You when we see a name, that's we just immediately break it down into yes, into different uh, parts. Yeah, and it's. Uh, I think this game might be this. I think we found the source of the headaches. Yeah, that might be it. You might be up against your limit because you're straining uh, yourself greatly. You're stretching these words. Are you looking through more? That's a long ass yeah. notes list. No. I have That's two all, yeah. very bad ones if you want them. Yep. Oh, you, you, yeah. Please. I, yep. I just wrote them down. You Please. just did it. Just wrote them down. Skull Cherry walks into a Mexican restaurant and orders pica de gallo. Dip to um, dip sauce. <laughs> yeah. It's, happy birthday, dip sauce. Dip sauce. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you got it. <laughs> Big right. happy birthday to dip sauce. S- say it again. <laughs> Skull Cherry walks into a Mexican restaurant and orders pica de gallo. Skull Cherry. So dip. Why? What is is cherry important here? No. So okay. So dip or chew. Walks into a Mexican restaurant. Orders pica de gallo. Yeah. Pico de Gallo is a salsa, salsa dip. Tomato. It's right in front of your face. It's salsa, tomato. Wait, two dips? Two, two, no, no, just one dip. I'm sorry. But, it's a but, uh, dip, dip and dip. 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 Diplo? Dip, dip. No. Something you would come up with? Pikachu. Oh, it was a fictional creature. Yes. Oh, that sucked. Dude. Yeah, I told you. Happy, wait, wait. happy birthday, Pikachu. Yeah, I, how old's birthday. Pikachu? <laughs> yeah. uh, 45 this year. Yeah. Wait, where does the ch- Pika... But you already I said get... Pika in the hint. I know. Yeah, where, where does <laughs> yeah, the, where you, does... Can't, you can't do that, Mook. I, I no, you. no, yeah. that's not allowed. Oh, my you God, that pissed me off. Uh, oh. To have the confidence to come yeah. do that. I told you it was bad. After Kyle if did the Thai t- lady boy. Yeah. Yeah, no. you just said it. What does strawberry school have to do with it? Chew, chew. But it was backwards. I don't. St- I still it don't get that. <laughs> I get it. Chew and pika. Taking a you look at it, you dip can't say pika. Is... I know, but I did it. What's the next one? I'm, I need it. Yeah. Do you want the next one? Yes. Yes. Absolutely. Yes. The next yes. one is worse. Yes. Uh, no. No, it's not. All right. Hillary's husband gets a boner and drops a nuke east of Japan. <laughs> <laughs> East of Japan, Bill Bill actor. Hard actor, Bill Bill. It's not. We can't be Bill. using logic here. <laughs> yeah, Bill Bone. Bill, you're off on Bill. <laughs> I'm off on Bill. <laughs> when you said Hillary's husband. Hillary's husband isn't Bill is, in is this it scenario. Is it a Will? William. Think, think of the last name. Clinton. Mm-hmm. Gets a boner and drops Clinton, a nuke east of Clinton, Japan. Clinton. Clinton. There's no person named Clinton. <laughs> Clint. What is this going to be? Clint. There you go. Clint Eastwood. Yeah. Uh, you suck. No, that's so <laughs> See, again, why? You can't say why? Hillary's husband and be like, oh, yeah, Clint. And then when you said Japan, now yeah. I'm thinking about countries, but yeah. it was just yeah, east. Was you also said east again. Yeah, you can't. Said east again. Say He's adding yeah. things. You oh, can't. my God. I just wrote it down. I'm Clint. Uh, why the, the bomb? Uh. <laughs> Like an ode to Iwo Jima? Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. No, no, don't give him any credit. He just added that. That was so bad. <laughs> yeah, you, so can't, bad. you can't throw in like right, odd think, other adventures. One on the fly. But you can't Fine. use the same fucking... I'm just going to Google celebrity. Yeah. I'm going to try to do one. On the fly. It's right, probably worse. Joey, you too. Okay. And Reed. I know Reed's got a creative brain back there. 
Okay. Does it have to be their birthday, or are we just coming? No, up just random one? celebrity. I did okay. Pikachu, so it's kind of Skywalker. Thought today might have been Skywalker. His day. Your hair is messy. <laughs> <laughs> uh, turning thirty-four. Skywalker. Wait, hold on. Country messy. singer turning thirty-four. Luke Combs. Yeah, ah, way better. Ah, way better. That was very good. <laughs> Mook. Yeah, I'm ass. <sighs> this is a Mook style one for a, a athlete turning twenty-four. Okay. Jamar, you better run. I'm going to try to catch you. Jamar Chase. Yeah, Jamar <laughs> Chase. Happy birthday. <laughs> I still stumped Rudy. I was trying to come up with my own. It's not easy. <laughs> the problem is I love word games, and I'm one of the worst players ever. But I, I always will just keep going. I'll, I'll mm. try to think of one here. Okay. Oh, I got one. All right. Got one. Uh, retired athlete, uh, a cow computer in India. Okay. A cow, compu- a cow, cow computer. A cow computer. Um, Dell Delhi. I think the cow computer was Gateway. Oh. Tank Dell. Uh-oh. Well, that would be. Because <laughs> <laughs> he's trying to do Dell Curry. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. But, yeah. Uh, <laughs> Curry. Gateway. <laughs> right when I did that, I was like, this is resting on a relatively yeah. flimsy. That's Gateway. Yeah. That's Gateway, <laughs> M- yeah. Gateway Mumbai. Gateway My favorite Mumbai. basketball player. Gateway Mumbai. Dude, back in the day, Gateway Mumbai invented the sky hook. You don't remember that? <laughs> 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 Reed, you got one? Yeah. Um, say, it say it into the mic over here if you want. Bill and Hillary laugh at a male appendage. Ha ha Clinton Dix. Ah, yeah. Yeah, way better. Yeah. Nice. Way Reed, better. Reed, you're That's the man. Really you're, good, the, you're very good at this. <laughs> that was good. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck me. <laughs> Pikachu? Come on. You, But you said... I and know. it's not <laughs> the hint wasn't right. It was out of order. I'll chop this up too. Yeah, yeah. Chop it all <laughs> yeah, up. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Oh, you're not gonna lead, you're not gonna lead with just that. Have the boys thinking. <laughs> <laughs> that would be great. You drop that as the teaser at the beginning. <laughs> it's just all of us just <laughs> like staring into space. Yeah. <laughs> Trying to come up with athlete uh, puns. I'll go first. Okay. Uh, we'll start with the word <laughs> bad and then we'll go good. Hold on. Okay, I got it. Alphabet minus the M is not very giving. <laughs> Alphabet minus Noel? No, Gnome. Wait, who is it? Wait, wait. Alphabet minus it's, it's the a, M. It's a, it's a famous yeah. woman. Alphabet, Alphabet, minus- Alphabet order, forget the M, is not very giving. Okay, selfish. Um... It's a woman. Mm-hmm. J K L N Ellen DeGeneres. Yes. Wow. wow. Yeah, I like That's that. Good. Okay. I like that. It took me that whole five minutes to figure out how to make Ellen work. That was actually pretty good. I love that. Luckily, the M, it took me, I, I'm really bad with the alphabet. It took me forever to figure out that there was an M in between there. I was like, all right, we got it. I think you settled on one person and you were like, I have to make this I work. Did, I couldn't pivot. <laughs> yeah, I could not yeah. pivot. I could like, not We pivot. have Degeneres. Yeah. We have yeah. to do this. Yeah. All right, Nick. Um, singing cups in pitch perfect while an urban man says what his favorite part of the body is. <laughs> <laughs> All right, singing cups in pitch perfect. How does that song go, Broody? Well, I have no idea. Is it uh, the singer of cups okay, in Anna, pitch perfect? And a Kendrick. While an urban man says what his favorite Kendrick. Part of, <laughs> no. <laughs> okay. So it says what his favorite. Body He's saying part what is. his va- favorite body part is. Okay. <laughs> urban man. It's what would uh, Kendrick Perkins? No, it's um. Anna, it's not the last name. Anna. You get it? I don't, I don't know. His favorite body. Would I assume this is his favorite body part? No. Okay. He just says it in a way to make me know his race. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I got the winner of this bit. might be a loser long term. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Anna. Anna. <clears throat> oh, favorite 
Nope, I got nothing. <sighs> Anna. What names begin with Anna? Anna Just Anna Fry. <laughs> Anna Fry. <laughs> the chick that looks like Brock Purdy, kinda. Yeah. Um, Are we right on Anna? Are we sure about that? Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, okay. Let me. Uh, it's not like arm. Mm -hmm. Anna arm or Anna. Anna de Armas. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Anna de Armas. <laughs> Thank you. Who is that? I don't even know who that is. She played Marilyn Monroe. Mm. I'm pretty sure her pussy has lines in that movie. Doesn't, ah. her, doesn't her pussy has dialogue or like wrinkles? I, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah so, I'm pretty sure so most of them do. So look at her. In, it's called the movie Blonde. I think her pussy has like a voice in the movie. <laughs> That rules. That's an artistic choice. I, I just heard her pussy had lines. It might be wrinkled. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> My dumbass thought it was talking. <laughs> hey, hey. She's like, wow. Oh, she's uh, always on the top of dudes' lists. Ah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, Blade Runner. Yeah. She's like the perfect woman in Blade Like, meant to be the perfect woman. She's in uh, Knives Out. She is. The nurse. Who throws up every time she lies. That's a nice little convenient hole. Everybody's yeah. like, that movie's so clever. It is not. It's entertaining. She pukes correct. every yeah. time she lies. And that affects the plot. Like, yes. Anna Darmus, <laughs> big time, because there's a murder. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, I wanted to see that, but now I don't know. Um, are you are you a I've rarely seen the movie guy? I'd try not to be. Because I am. I'm not proud of I'm it. I'm not proud of it at all. But I have rarely seen the movie. But now I'm like trying to watch more movies. I know. I'll watch a movie and, and I'll get done and I'll feel kind of like I read a book. I'm like, so that was cultured. I'm, I'll yeah, read them that on was Wikipedia. Cultured. Or just read the synopsis. That is wild. It, no, it's like. You're spark noting of like films the top so that movies. you can reference. Because it's like I can't contribute to so many con conversations. Yeah. Because of my lack of pop culture, movie, TV show knowledge. Yeah. So I just like what let me just read this this plot and be hit <laughs> but, and you'll just like wedge into the conversation with like just a huge part of the <laughs> oh, plot I'll be really douche because you're not like you have an opinion now uh, you're just like, like i will like, say the box office how much it <laughs> yeah, made yeah. yeah all right dude more Pulled like numbers in, in the, the box now. office yeah he'll say when production started and where six <laughs> yeah. weeks yeah yeah <laughs> yes that does suck six weeks in portugal <laughs> so much worse Movie. Wikipedia changed their font. It's driving me crazy. I think they the changed articles. it back. They changed yeah. it back. Was there an outcry? That, that That's good. Yeah, it did suck. I hate their their like flash intro where it's like, and then the N flies out at you. That's the, Netflix, not true. Wikipedia. <laughs> 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 yeah. I just wasn't listening. What? <laughs> I just what, you, what were you talking about? <laughs> I just you thought we were talking about Netflix? No, I knew you were talking about Wikipedia. And then what was... were you describing? <laughs> Netflix. I was describing Netflix. I just I thought he'd switch to Netflix. Finally, a head. movie you've seen is <laughs> <laughs> the <laughs> Netflix intro. <laughs> Dude, imagine having me li like it's so that sad. Was to so have to bad. <laughs> I have to. I have to live like this. Dude. Oh my god! I was so confused. I was just gonna ride with it and be like, I didn't know they were doing that. I guess I don't read as much Wikipedia we as I Wikipedia. thought. Yeah. I was like, what, I what type like of flash? I don't like it when the red head flies. Also, you're mad. At also, that? Yeah, you, you hate don't that? like that. That scares hate, you. It's like, a, dude, when you're in your room and it's dark, it's like and a the end flies at you. It's like a flashbang. Oh no, not the end. <laughs> We're talking about uh, Wikipedia, and he's like, and the N is scary. Yeah. <laughs> like, on, you don't have to do the, you don't, visual... It's already bad. You don't have to do the voice. You don't have what to do voice, the voice. Man? I was just doing a you impression. <laughs> no, no, no. Yeah. Netflix <laughs> intro is just Morgan Wallen at the end of a bender. <laughs> I'm coming for you. flying at you. Yeah. 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 Yeah, that's how he was oh, women. Yeah. Oh, Morgan, no. <laughs> don't do it. I got distracted by I was cleaning my, the dust off my phone, and then this <laughs> pops in my head. <laughs> this big red N. Yeah. <laughs> it's Morgan Wallen chewing his favorite gum. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Do you guys spell cinnamon? Yeah. Oh God, run! <laughs> Morgan Wallen's about to say it. His mouth must be open. <laughs> Yeah, they should make a Morgan yeah. Wallen biopic, and the intro is just that with a different word. <laughs> nah, nah. nah. <laughs> <laughs> ah, Morgan. Oh. Yeah, this movie. This movie's not that scary. The scariest part's the beginning scene. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> 
Rudy thinks this yeah. is a character. Oh, God. Oh, no. <laughs> uh, oh, what are some... Kyle was scared of chewing, okay? He d- no, yeah. I just didn't, it didn't give me pleasure like you guys. <laughs> chewing is tasting, dude. Yeah. <laughs> I'll stick by that. Just... <laughs> I'll stick by mine, too. Ah. <laughs> Don't do that. Oh, my God. Any housekeeping, oh Mookie? Wait, you oh, said wow. you had videos? Uh, if you guys want uh, some TikToks I thought were funny this week, uh, I can pull them up. <laughs> yeah, please. Let's change this. Well, this is crazy. This is crazy right now. <laughs> oh, <shit>. Yeah. <laughs> A million of them. <laughs> I can't have that be the ender. <laughs> <laughs> that was so bad. So bad, dude. <laughs> uh, and I'm back on Adderall. That's bad, too. Oh, jeez. Yeah, well, it's taking you straight into the dust on your phone, <laughs> so it's definitely working. Yeah, yeah true. Yeah, yeah, I've been cleaning my phone. He's cleaning phone. his phone. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, oh, it's working. You're <laughs> focused on something, but it's not your job. Yeah. <laughs> Ro- Rudy has the cleanest fucking phone. Yeah. Still got a 12 on his ACTs, yeah. but his phone was spotless. <laughs> uh, what do you got? We have Timothy Chalamet weight gain. Uh, American okay. Deli order or Aiden Ross's Discord mod. Uh, I've seen the Discord mod. Uh, let's do the Chalamet weight gain. The internet is clamoring that uh, Chalamet seen... has fallen from a twink and he's getting fat. Uh, twink to otter. Yeah. Twink to a bear would be a great film. Mm. Oh yeah. Fans by the second because of this. Losing fans reason. by the second. This week, several videos comparing photos of Timmy from 2021 to 2024 have gone viral <laughs> on TikTok. Many arguing that we are witnessing his twink death or <laughs> twink most death. Of three, he looks exactly the same or at least a little bit healthier. Others are trying to point out he appears to have gained weight, with some speculating he's gained between 10 to 50 pounds. This is supposed to be 50 pounds. Okay. What? Yes, Timothy's who yeah, who but... didn't gain weight during that exact time period? Mm-hmm. F- photos from 2021 to now. For everyone are going to be skinnier unless you were 12. And he, his twink death. Uh, you never want to see a twink death, though. No, 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 you don't. Uh, he, I feel like he would get upset by this. Yeah. Like, <laughs> really upset. He's going to get really skinny. He's basically saying we're now in an era where my generation and some Gen Z used to like the skinny guys, like the Joe Bros, Harry Styles, Timothy, and now they're gravitating towards the men that can protect them. This ridic- yeah, so, all right, I just wanted to bring up Twink Deaths. Twink Death yeah, is a... Twink Death. Mm-hmm. It's aging. Yeah. Yeah, he's yeah. like 28. It's gays no longer wanting to fuck boys. Yeah, that's what it is. Tra- well, no, they're getting tra- mad. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's a tragedy. Twink's only a gay thing, right? Girls don't. But it seems like a lot of things that were gay things are now just common slang. Mm-hmm. But I would imagine if you're complaining about his twink death, that would be from a gay angle. I can't yeah, imagine a girl be a being like, angle. oh my God, his He's, twink death is upsetting me. <laughs> oh, yeah. Timmy's twink death. <laughs> Timmy's twink death. Is there a twink flag? Because I would love it for the, the room. <laughs> There's got to be, right? <laughs> yeah. That's all. Three horizontal stripes of equal width. The, the top stripe is a pink pale color. The middle is white. The bottom is pale yellow. An inter- interwoven pair of Mars symbols. It's perfect. Like you can just tell that's twink. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Aside from having such high bodily standards, which I didn't know about, I do feel like twinks are having a hell of a time. Yeah. They're I just think kind of being fabulous and having fun. They're just mm-hmm. getting spun around. Yeah. 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 Mm-hmm. That's a good thing. What do the colors represent? That would be like a really good, that looks delicious. If that, that were some <laughs> sort of like saltwater taffy. That would be the first <laughs> I grab. Kind, of, kind of sour, I think. Mm-hmm. What? I'm, I'm thinking like a pink sweet. lemonade. He doesn't yeah. know. He doesn't oh. chew anything. Yeah, that, that like right. you, don't know, you don't know what sour is. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> good foods to you are just small. I can't believe oh, that was delicious. These Tic Tacs were delicious, man. Mashed potatoes. Uh, this is can't be like an like a bizarre. Treat. You must despise like a Jolly Rancher, like that just has to sit in your mouth for. You must crunch. Um. Yeah, I don't. I don't like hard candies. Yeah, <laughs> it's just that does not surprise me. Can we buy? I like, I like soft the, foods. Yeah. I like yeah. soft food. Yeah. yeah. I'll snag one. Soft thin foods. The I twinks hate, I of hate. food. <laughs> if it's like a tall food, I'm disgusted. Oh yeah, tall or round. I want it to be as small as possible. Like that's why. I mean, I think hors d'oeuvres are everyone prefers hors d'oeuvres. Mm. I want it small, compact, miniature. So you don't like a burger? Soft. A burger you you don't like? Little burgers are soft. They're easy to eat. Yes. 
Is a slider preferable because of its size? That's the one thing that it's like not. Maybe yeah, not. Well, it's more smash burger. I like miniature foods though. Think of a good entree, I like it in a miniature form. <laughs> <laughs> like mini what? tacos, mini like um, <laughs> taquitos, like uh, pizza bagels, like anything that you get at a, a wedding reception. You like finger from foods? The finger foods. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Interesting. Interesting. What's the uh, other videos you have? Uh, one more just made me giggle. What's your order? Oh, 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 10 p mile, lemon pepper, come on. I want ranch dressing. All three minutes on the drink. I got it. Oh my god. Wait, what do you say about the drink? That's it. <laughs> That's his order? Yeah. Plating. What's your order? <laughs> Oh, 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 10 piece mild lemon pepper. 10 piece mild, 10 lemon piece pepper. mild lemon pepper. All three mints on the drink. All three, <laughs> all three what on drink? I couldn't catch the drink. All three mints? I thought I said all three mitts, but I don't even know what that would mean. <laughs> oh, I want ranch dressing. All three mints on the drink. <laughs> I got it. Ask him what his favorite body part is. <laughs> <laughs> I want to know about the drink thing. All three. I want to start all saying three it. That guy's tied. I'm gonna say. I'm gonna say all three mints on the drink. But what's that mean? Anyone? Is anyone speculating? All three mix. Oh. oh. All, three all three mix. So is that like back in the day? What, what they used to call it a suicide, where they, you would like mix sodas? Yeah, you would go down all of them. But it all three would imply there's only three options. I know that uh, TikTok and social media is objectively ruining the psyche of the younger generation, but they look like they're having a great time here. That looked fun. That yeah. looked fun they're as hell. Laughing their ass yeah. off. Their mini mics. Yeah. Making content, getting a lot of comments. Yeah. They're doing numbers. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Apparently, it is though ruining the children. It's not good because now they're now they're like, we got three million on that. Now let's go keep doing. Instead it. of being authentic, try to recreate that. Mm-hmm. I mean, I, I don't know what they're up to today, but that's what I would imagine. <laughs> yeah, they don't. Um, they, I guess they can't do school. They, they they can't sit down and they can't do an assignment for more than like three minutes. Yeah, a friend of mine couldn't be me. Put it well. He was like, <laughs> <laughs> uh, I was dialed. Mook, I'm sending you a picture right now. Yeah, we were on those hot tub boats today, and Kyle was like, "Imagine if somebody from like these tall buildings was looking down." Somebody got us. Someone got us. And we look so oh, pathetic. I, I can't we look so pathetic. I just sent it to you, Mook. I'm praying uh, I can see we can see Nick's legs from a distance. No, you can't. They disappear. <laughs> There's not enough render distance. No. <laughs> I'm always weirded out by being in water on water. Yeah. Weird. It was, yeah, rare yeah, thing. My first time. There yeah. we are. <laughs> Yeah, it looks pathetic. <laughs> that, that's pathetic. <laughs> that's like the big party, man. <laughs> that looks like a Mook. That reminds me of like that looks like the control. Le- that looks like the Lebanon control plus. It looks like the screenshot from the Lebanon explosion. The Beirut explosion. The, the Beirut, Beirut explosion. explosion. <laughs> that ah, oh, that's so embarrassing. Yeah, yeah keep punching were... in on that. Let's get to the singular pixels. See, now that looks like a Van Gogh. Wow, it does. That looks beautiful. Yeah, that yeah. It looks like a watercolor. Yeah. All right, oh hold on. I'm going to try to guess. There's like an alien in the top right. Oh, and you can like leaning yeah. back. Yeah, vibing. you kind of see my traps. My side Well, I'm trying to guess who's yeah. who. I'm going to guess uh, oh, Wonton per- is on the left. Yeah. Nope. That's what? Corey Rutledge. That's oh. Rutledge? Oh. Yeah. Okay. I thought that was me. Nobody. <laughs> <laughs> I think the, I think, here. I think. Nick is bottom right. Nope, that's Donnie. Here? Then where's the third? That's the left, Mook. One, two, three. Yeah. Okay, you're the one next to Corey. Then. No, I'm Nick. in the middle. Oh, I'm out. <laughs> yeah, dude. <laughs> that's bad. Oh, for four. Oh, yeah, no, sorry. It was super easy. It was yes. easy for me. Mm. I just I, Somebody sniped uh, us. That's amazing. Wait, so what is this? That's a hot tub that you can take in the river. And it has yeah, an no. engine on the back. Yeah, electric. And they just Not give it engine. to you. And what's the quality of the hot tub water? Cold. Oh yeah, it was yeah, lukewarm. It was brisk today. So free. Yeah. So how quickly were you miserable, and how long was the whole experience? Um, thirty minutes. It was th- only thirty minutes. Okay. Um, but it was there was no fun. There was a lot of laughter of how Much ridiculous. It yeah. It, is, yeah. it would be fun in the summer. Yeah. I can't believe they just couldn't make it like hot, hot. 
It's their one thing. Yeah, but it's in freezing cold water with freezing cold air. But does air don't, do don't, that? Don't do it. Yes, air. <laughs> what? But like, but a lot of hot tubs are like outside in the snow. But they're like plugged in. Ours. W- yeah, I don't know. I don't know either. But that's the thing. It speaks to the the fact that they're going to have trouble with this because it's always going to be relatively cold water. Yeah. We'll see how it how it goes. It's beautiful. Go. It's an artsy ass shot. It is. We should get that uh, blown up for the uh, studio. Put it next to the twink flag yeah. that I mm-hmm. just bought. My algorithm <laughs> on Amazon is going to be fucked. <laughs> nah, not really. Uh, anything else? Yeah, that's all I got. All right. uh, bonus this week. Yeah, we're going to try to record one tomorrow. Okay. Mm-hmm. I'll show Rudy the sticks. Let's uh, try to watch. Let's try to react to something. Mm-hmm. I would like to. Or I would love to have you play a game, Kyle. Infinite Craft. No, no, no. I want him to play like a... Uh, I'll figure it out. Yeah, I would yeah, like to play yeah. a game. All right. Uh, run plug game. Plug game. Social media, tours, whatever. Uh, yes, yeah. Uh, check me out. It's Joey Avery. JoeyAvery.com has all my shows. Joey Avery on Instagram, TikTok, YouTube. I post all the time. And I just launched a podcast called The Joey wow. Show, which is on my YouTube. So there we go. Hell yeah. The Joey Show. Boom. Bang. Bang. Nice. Look at that. Nice. Look at that. Good pick. Oh, oh yeah. thanks. Great pick. A little pop up. I programmed oh, that yeah. myself. Did you yeah. make that? Trying to capture some emails. Oh, I'm a one man team. I get to really? do all of my web design and editing and filming. It's really fun. I love all of it. Oh, you're performing really at slick. Carmel by the Sea? I am performing at Carmel by the Sea. In wow. Indiana? <laughs> it's it's nice. It's it's Clint near- Eastwood was the mayor for a long time. Oh yes. Yeah. He was. Yeah. He was. And you don't have house numbers there, you have a house name. Wait, what is, where is it's this? Sick. It's, it's sick. It's it's like one of the most elite zip codes in it's the world. It's incredible. It's where Pebble Beach is. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Carmel by the Sea. Carmel. South, South Carmel. Of, it's oh, south of San Francisco. It's gorgeous. Yeah, it's How's not, the comedy scene at Carmel by the Sea? I was going to say, it's not a place that I would usually go, but they offered me a not massive amount of money, but it's near my hometown. So I was like, oh, I'll just go home and go to Carmel for a day. Yeah. I think I'm going to San Luis Obispo oh for shows after it's, that. It's incredible. It's beautiful. It's unreal. It was so nice when I went there that I got pissed. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you get mad because you're like, why can't I have one of these homes? Yeah. yeah. It was, yeah. It was, Look it, at it. It's like can't. paradise. It was infuriating. That's a real thing. That's why most people have, that's the leading cause of plane freakouts, people passing the first class. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah, I've said that a couple times, but it's, <laughs> yeah. not, it's not true. Were you pissed when you passed me? Yeah, that yeah. destroyed <laughs> me. Yeah. Yeah. You were in first and you were in the you back? You were in first. I had to pass him to go to 29D. <laughs> oh, it's tough. I was dude. 1B. I was in the slums. Oh, yeah. First class for steak eaters. Yeah. <laughs> I, I I actually had, um, what did I have on that flight? Um, you had res- Pulled pork. Whoa. No, that's not. No, that's yeah, a, that's well, a kind of a messy treat. I know. <laughs> I know. <laughs> it's kind yeah. of a messy treat. Yeah. I feel like it would be soft enough that you would like it. I know. I loved pulled po- I Yes. Loved pulled yeah. Pork. That's your wheelhouse. Love a sloppy Joe. You yeah. served it at the carnival in your front yard. What did we serve? There's It, it sucked. You probably had three Don't games. Don't tell me this. You probably had three it was the games, best a trampoline. Day of my life. <laughs> three games, a trampoline, and a slip and slide, I bet. No, it was more cerebral than that. <laughs> there was a lot of trivia. <laughs> I forget. It was cool though, and it was like I don't want to see the picture now because it, was, it was horrible. We'll find it <laughs> by right. the end of the day. All right. God bless. God bless.